so today's video i'm gonna do a little room tour um of my uni room because i said i would do this video four months ago when i moved in and i haven't it is a bit messy i've literally been living in it for four months so it is not tip top shape so just ignore that also just some background information i go to university of brighton and i'm living in mifras halls which are actually the new halls that were built this year i'm not going to say what building i'm in though because there's like five different types of buildings and i don't really want to say what one i'm in i will just say though some rooms are a bit different like some are a bit bigger some are a bit smaller they're all just like a little bit different if you are looking to move here just know that your room might not be the exact same as mine but it will pretty much be along these lines um again please ignore the mess because it is really messy and i've got a lot of stuff but i'm just going to show you anyway also i forgot to say that i currently have covid so um my voice is kind of going and i sound really nasally because of it anyway carrying on okay so this is my door um it does lock from the inside and everything and then to open it you have a key card so i guess i'll go this way over here you get like some coat hooks so yeah obviously i've got my coats and stuff and some bags and then i have my little drying rack here because i've got nowhere else to put it really i've got my guitar some shoes by the way the floor is really gross because i need to mop it so then we get to this part of my room which i really like um so down here obviously i've got some shoes but i have a mini fridge which is so handy so yeah i've just got loads of food in my little mini fridge down here I have a rubbish bin and then just some like bottles and stuff. And then this is my desk area. So let me just go along here and then I'll talk about up here. So I've got this little fake plant that I think is from Ikea. This um, plant pot is actually from, I think it was Tesco's and it did have another plant in it. But that died so I just kept the pot and then um, put this plant in it and I really like that. And then I have a kettle which obviously is not essential, didn't come with the room, I just want to say, I did actually buy this from Argos, and it was like £14 or £10 or something, and honestly, it's so handy, like, I always make drinks in here, definitely recommend getting a kettle if you are contemplating it. So, over in my little tea and coffee station, I've got some green tea, and then, like, regular tea, peppermint tea, I've got a bag of sugar as well, um, some coffee, some syrups and stuff like that. And then I got this little crate from a charity shop for like £2.50 and it just, I think it looks really nice. And then I've just got some random bits and bobs here. My mirror, I've got my speaker behind there. And then I've got my makeup over here in this little um, container and bag and stuff. And then over on this side, I have my salt lamp, which I love. It's just incredible. And then I've got this little... Um, record which i got from a charity shop for like 20p and i just use this as like a coaster and then i'll go up here but this is like my little cute wall i'm not going to go too in depth in this but um i've just got some old photos and like some newer ones i actually forgot to print off loads of photos before i came here which i do recommend doing because it just makes you feel more like homely seeing like all my family and stuff got my little louis walsh there <laughs> I've just got this like weekly planner as well on here. These are just my friend's names that they wrote on here, but um, I don't ever use this, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't know why I keep it up there, but it is just there. And then this is like a vegan poster that I someone gave me, I don't really know. And then over here, I've got this hanging plant, which I don't actually know where it's from. Um, and then I also have these vines that I got from Amazon. These fairy lights were from B&M. And those are really cute, but they actually don't work at the moment because the batteries have gone. And then here is my bed area. Little view. Oh, also down here you get a drawer and then you also get all this space. And this is a complete mess, I'm going to be honest. I've got like alcohol and drinks and stuff. And then just like random stuff there. And then on this bit of my bed, this is actually some more storage and it goes all the way down to the floor so it's really um, deep. Over here I've got my little lava lamp which I got from a charity shop and then this jewellery stand I'm actually in love with is from Shein. Yeah I just keep all my jewellery on there and honestly this is like my favourite thing. And then I've got my little snow globe which I got from Amsterdam. Um, I've got this little pot with some hair bands and stuff. And then over here I've got some plants. This one is like dead so just ignore it honestly. 
And then on my windowsill, I've got this little aloe vera plant. I've got um, this little plant, a cactus, and a photo of me and my nan. And then I've got another one of those vines. And then, yeah, this is the window. So everyone kind of has different windows in their rooms. Like some people have two windows, some people have one window, some people have a big one, some people have a little one. They're all literally different. And this is like the university building. So all of these are classrooms, so they can just see directly into my room, which is so frustrating. Literally all of us basically keep our blinds closed during the day, unless it's a Saturday or Sunday, because it's just horrible having people like staring into your room while you're just like sat in bed. So the bed itself is a small double. My bedding is from Ikea, if you're wondering. I literally love it so much. Um, but yeah, I've just got my V-pillow and my little teddy hot water bottle. Over on this side, it's kind of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. There's like a USB plug socket and this is the light switch for the main room. So you literally don't have to get out of bed, um, which is really nice. But yeah, I've got some more plants up here and just some like random stuff on the shelves. So up here, you get some more shelves and I've just got some more shoes. I've got another thing of fairy lights another plant here um, and then I've got some hats and some like random stuff here and then because I ran out of storage I literally have my washing up here um, but I just wanted to move it out of the way for this video so just popped it up there and then I've got my big suitcase which I forgot to take home when I moved in <laughs> and it just lives up there now and then we get onto the wardrobe okay so this is the wardrobe it's very small like very small I had to get these hooks to go on my wardrobe door because I did run out of storage so I just have some more coats and bags on here. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up <laughs> and you'll have to ignore how messy it is. Yeah, this is all you have to like hang. So I've just got shirts and basically just some random like t-shirts hung up here. And then down here I've got some knitted jumpers and then I've got some curling ones and stuff like that. And then behind here there's actually like it goes back quite far which is good. So I've just got some more bedding down there and then I've got some tank tops and behind there I've got hoodies and sweatshirts and then this one is kind of messy but that is basically hoodie sweatshirts and skirts can you tell I've got like an obsession with hoodies and sweatshirts because like this is all hoodies and sweatshirts and it goes quite far back as well and then that's like jeans and trousers because there is like hardly any room in the wardrobe underneath my bed I actually have these storage bins and then in this one I've just got like joggers and t-shirts so yeah that's that area of my room over here ignore my fit again I've got corona so just let me live um you have this like full length mirror and then we have the ensuite okay so this is the ensuite you have two hooks on the door and then you get like this little towel rack as well um just like this little handle so i keep some hand towels on there by the way i got hair dye on it from when i dyed my hair red um i'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the extractor fan but it is really loud because it's broken but yeah this is what it looks like i've got this really handy little like organizer thing so i've just like organized all my stuff in here which is good it's just extra storage so yeah this was from i think it was from the range but yeah i definitely recommend getting one of these and my little bin i also had to buy that because that didn't come with it there's like this massive mirror i have this little toothbrush holder up here but it's actually too small for my toothbrush so i kind of just like leave it like that the sink is kind of dirty not gonna lie and then this is the shower so yeah, in my shower, I actually changed the shower head and I bought this one on Amazon. And then I also bought this from the range, this little like hanging up thing. I keep all my shower stuff on here as you can see. And yeah, that is about it for the bathroom, I think. Just in case you are watching this wanting to come to into the Mithras halls, just know like there's quite a lot of problems so I'm not sure I would recommend it. At the moment my extractor fan in my ensuite is broken so it just goes on all the time and that's not been fixed yet. Maintenance people constantly are coming into our flat and into our rooms without asking permission and without notice. People have had their stuff stolen. When I went home for Christmas I locked my door obviously and I came back and my door was literally open like so that meant everyone that came back before me when I got back for Christmas 
um, could just go in my room. But luckily, there was only one other person back. I know I am just listing loads of like complaints, but I just want to let you guys know in case you are thinking of moving here. Hopefully, you know, things won't be as bad next year. We are the first people to live here, so hopefully they'll sort it out. And yeah, because the rooms are actually nice. Anyway, that is about it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my room. I'm sorry that it is a mess. And yeah, hopefully I'll be doing some more like uni videos. Definitely subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. But anyway, bye.